Hello, hello, Capricorn, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today is August 4th, and we are going to just do a general read to see if there's any messages or clarity that wants to come through for you today. Please, Universal Energy, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please bring forth any messages that want to come through for Capricorn. Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You start off the reading with the Two of Swords. Having to make a decision and you know it. I do not do reversals. I feel that I can get all... I am a fixed sign, first of all, and I don't have a problem if people do reversals. I personally do not. Okay, Capricorn. You start off the reading with the Two of Swords. This is being blinded and trapped and not knowing what to do. For some of you, listen, you are in a space right now in your life where you are feeling like there is no movement forward. You are afraid to open up your eyes. You are afraid to see the truth and you are afraid to make a decision that eventually needs to be made. You know? Um... You also have the strength here. The strength for some of you. You are going to need the strength in order to face the truth. And I'm going to tell you why. Listen, you need to take off these blindfolds, okay? And see the truth for exactly what it is. Take, listen, you also have the high priestess. The high priestess is somebody who holds secrets. She doesn't speak much. She is full of wisdom, she is full of information. She is full of an array of chapters like you would not believe, okay? She is very, very intuitive and very intelligent. And she is very, very classy and quiet. She doesn't make noise. She doesn't want to be seen. You know, she's just quiet. Very classy, too. Very classy. Um, The Queen of Swords. Listen, this is... Somebody who has made a decision. Okay, this could be you. This could be somebody else. Whatever the decision is, I mean, we're going to clarify these, but a decision, this is somebody, listen, you've always been a, this is how I look at it. You've always been a woman who has basically made decisions. And for some reason, I feel that you have had a scorn heart for some time. And I feel that you, even though you know the truth, <clears throat> You are picking your head over your heart, okay? You might not be necessarily extremely invested in this. Or listen, for some of you, you might be. You have the five of cups. If anything in your life came to an end for, some, for those of you that with the decision was made by somebody else, okay? You are going to be, you're feeling sad, you're, you're grieving, <clears throat> you're crying, over spilled milk because you are basically looking at listen you're still nurturing your three cups okay your three empty cups this could have been a relationship that you had listen it wasn't a real relationship it was probably in some cases it could have been a third party okay because a decision needed to be made and there is a scorned woman in this reading so when I see these two things, I see, you know, major logic and major decision and a lot of coldness, okay? This is a lot of coldness. Even though you're grieving the situation, I feel that you're angry a little bit, you know? I just feel that you're a little upset. And you're not telling anything to anybody. These are things that you really do not share with anybody and you just keep them to yourself, why is the two of swords here for capricorn please universal energy spirit guides and ancestors <clears throat> wow listen i'm going to tell you right now <clears throat> for some of you you are dealing with somebody who is not only very sneaky okay they're also holding back they hold back whether it's things that they know, they hold back money, okay? This is holding back. Listen, this person is going to do whatever the fuck they want to with you. I'm going to tell you right now, okay? For those of you who are not going to be able to pick up your cups, your two full cups, and walk away from this, I'm going to let you know right now, this guy's going to do whatever he wants to with you. And I say guy because in all the five cards on the top, you're a, you're a girl. <clears throat> two of swords, girl. Strength, girl. High priestess, girl. Um, queen of swords, girl. 
Five of Cups, girl. And sneaky, look, the two that I have out, it's a, it's a male. Sneaky and holding back. Okay, they're holding back secrets. They're holding back lies. They're a cheater. And, you know, everything else. They're not, let me tell you something. This is dishonesty. Okay, so if, for those of you who are having a hard time making a decision about somebody, I just want to be clear with you that if this reading is resonating with you, even in the slightest bit or not in the slightest bit, or if it's something that you are open to, or, and you say, oh my God, you know, parts of that is me. This person is very sneaky and this person is very dishonest with you. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here for Capricorn? Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. Listen, you know the truth. Nobody needs to tell you this. I feel like I'm talking to the same Capricorn like I did a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago. Same thing. You know the truth. You know, you would love to do nothing but to start a new beginning. You would love to hold in yourself. And, you know, you listen, you know, you know that this person is not who you want them to be. Yet you are still invested in this person. You know, some of you listen, you hope that you can start over again with this person. I don't know. You know. I do see a brand new beginning here. And for some of you, listen, if you stay in this stalemate energy and you don't really go anywhere and you keep dealing with this young energy who's, you know, he's not even a, he's not even a page right now. I mean, he's just being sneaky and holding things back, not even sharing, you know, not even having, you know, this could also be some type of communication problem. You know, this is somebody that, somebody that you really can't communicate with. You also have here the King of Wands with the King of Wands. Listen, this is somebody who's creative, okay? If this is you, okay, this is what you're looking for. I mean, if this is not you, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for somebody. Listen, you are the you are the high priestess in this reading. You you come across as the high priestess and the queen. You know, and for some of you, listen, you're looking for somebody who's loving caring you're looking to start a brand new beginning with the ace of wands with the king of wands why is the queen of swords here death listen capricorn this situation has come to an end listen some of you will hold on for dear life you know some of you will not be ready to let this go okay when the death shows up transformation is here for some of you there is a transformation that's coming by and some of you will kick and argue and not really listen. And listen, things like that just become a lost opportunity. You know, it is up to you how many times you really want to repeat the lesson on earth or whatever chapter of your life you're going through. Um, it looks like, you know, a decision was made to transform the situation for some of you. And listen, for the others of you, I just feel like you have made the decision that you want to start a brand new beginning with somebody else who is more like you or more like you know somebody who really matches you because this person is dishonest and they're always holding bullshit back secrets and they're just not honest why is the five of cups here listen talk to the universe okay if you have any problems listen wish a, have a conversation with the universe and ask for the universe for ask the universe for the things that you want and you would like this is the emperor you're elevating. Some of you will be elevating to a better place. This for me has something to do with money. Some of you will, will be probably wishing and hoping that um, you can get back with this person. You know, this is a person who could have been, they could be very controlling, very manipulative. You know, they place ordery, orders, they place their orders, they put things in boundaries, and then they expect you to follow them. You know, and listen, like I said, you're wishing upon a stars. This is also healing. This is also um, balancing out your life. You see how she is throwing one cup, both of the cups. She's like throwing them away. She's like, I don't need you guys anymore. Okay, I've healed from this situation. You know, that's for some of you. Okay, I hope that this was able to give you some kind of clarity and wisdom for the day, Capricorn, and happy Tuesday.